started Nerd Night 15 years ago, thereabouts, in Boston, uh, when I was a graduate student. And at that point, uh, these, are the, these are the birds uh, that I was, I was studying. Uh, they're, they're brood parasitic birds. Uh, and what that means is that uh, rather than providing parental care uh, to their offspring, rather than building nests, uh, doing any of that stuff that you think of as stuff that birds do, uh, these birds actually lay their eggs in the nests of other birds, and then those birds raise their young. And so what this is a picture of here is a, this is a parasitic bird, and this is uh, a, a, a different species of bird uh, whose, whose mom and dad are raising this parasite. So this is a totally different species than this. And, they, and they've evolved these, these patterns in their mouths, these parasites, to prevent the foster parent from discriminating the parasite from the host. So these birds are basically stealing all the parental care that the parents would normally be giving these birds. Anyway, so I, these are the birds that I studied, these parasitic birds, and I studied this um, as a graduate student in Boston, and I did field work um, in Cameroon in uh, Africa. At the same time, as graduate students often do, I, I spent a fair amount of time at the bar. And the bar that I spent a lot of time at was this place in uh, Jamaica Plain called the Midway Cafe. Uh, and so, yeah, anyway, there's, there's at least one person from that, that general region uh, here today. Um, and so, th this bar uh, is, a, is, a, is the kind of place where like rock bands usually play. It's, as you can see, dingy, kind of terrible bar. Um, and this is where Nerd Night was born. And the re the how it was born was basically a, a collaboration uh, between me and the owners of the bar, who, who strangely enough, uh, when I would disappear to do that field work in Africa for, for three months of the at a time, when I came back, they were actually quite curious about what it was that I was doing. And so they asked me one day to, to do a presentation about my exotic excursions in the field. And I thought that was a terrible, terrible idea to do a presentation at the bar. But, <laughs> but, but I, I went home and I kind of slept on it and I, and I thought, you know, really, maybe if I got some of my friends to do this along with me, uh, have a couple of presentations, maybe it would be a good way for our non-scientist friends, our parents, whatever, to, to learn something about what we do. And so that, that, and so from this kind of harebrained idea from a drunken and, and cocaine-using bartender uh, uh, is, 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 uh, is, uh, is, is really the, is how, uh, uh, is, is how this all, is all came together. So this is, what it, this is what it looked like in the early days in that same bar. <laughs> it was the 2000s, actually, but it, it felt like the 90s. Uh, I mean, it looked like the 90s. <laughs> uh, and so I, did, I, I ran the show in, in Boston for a few years until I convinced my, my roommate from college uh, to start it in, in New York. And as things, as things do, uh, in, in, and this is Matt Wasowski, who's been running the show in New York now for, I don't know, 12 years. Um, and that, as things do, when they went to New York, it kind of exploded. And so in Boston, it was kind of that, typically that small crowd that you saw there. And in New York, things um, uh, uh, expanded rapidly. And from there, uh, we now have uh, nerd nights uh, all over the country and internationally. <laughs> And so I encourage you to, wherever you're from, I encourage you to attend your local nerd nights. Uh, if you don't have a local nerd night, um, if you don't have a local nerd night, you can contact us about starting nerd nights. Um, at the beginning, we had to work on some just definitions, and so this was one of our early talks to make sure, make sure we knew what we were talking about, nerd, dork, and geek, etymology and suggestions for proper usage. But we do, this, I have to say, although we are at the Science Events Summit, uh, Nerd Night is not only science, and so we go out of our way to try to attract people who work in different fields. So these two are also uh, early talks, uh, salvation or damnation, fragmentation, mastication, and decay in medieval art, uh, and those radical bitches, Finnish American women socialists, 1880 to 1920. So we, we encourage... We encourage talks from all, all kinds of different backgrounds. So uh, thank you very much for coming out uh, tonight, and hopefully you'll uh, attend Nerd Nights uh, from here on out. Uh, thank you very much. Go to nerdnight.com to find a Nerd Night event near you. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for our latest presentation.